Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another empties video. So I know that I did just upload my makeup empties for all of 2017, but I do have a lot of skincare empties here and like hair products and some other things. So um, because my bin is getting full, I decided to just go ahead and share this empties video with you today. So this is more like a regular monthly empties video. But before we get into this empties, I did want to really quick uh, talk to you guys about that makeup year, year end makeup empties, which I'll link above in case you missed it. Um, I had a lot of feedback on it. So that was my first year doing it that way. Um, or my first time trying that type of format. I have never even seen anyone do that. And I just thought it was a fun and creative way to um, do a year-end makeup empties and if you did not see it basically what I did is I took clips from all of my normal monthly empties like this one that I'm doing right now um, and I removed all of the makeup um, like empty reviews and put it all in one mashup of all, for the whole year so um, it was interesting to see your guys's opinion on that video because it was very polarizing people absolutely either absolutely loved it or they hated it so thank you for your feedback um, I do appreciate it it got a lot of views and a lot of likes overall the likes were a lot higher than the dislikes however the comments really showed me that a lot of you really disliked it so I think I will do a different format next year so thank you for your feedback um, but it was just a fun and different way for me to do it so honestly um, Honestly, I wasn't trying to take like a shortcut or anything because that video actually took me a lot longer than a traditional video would have taken me. Um, it took a very, very long time. I'm talking, I, I worked on that video for about two weeks uh, with all the editing because I had to edit over again basically 12 videos um, down into one video so it took me a long time it was a lot of work but um, but it was fun for me to put out there and that's what I put out for you guys I put out things that I enjoy doing um, but I think I will do it differently next year because it first of all was a lot of work and second of all you some of you seem to really dislike it so anyway I did want to thank you guys real quick for that feedback but before this video is like 30 minutes long let's jump into the empties I have my empties bin here I do get questions every single time I post this about where I got this bin from. I actually got it from a garage sale and there is no tags or anything on here saying the brand or anything so I have no idea where you can find one like this but anyway let's jump on in. I have a lot of skincare in particular. The first thing that I have in here, this is something that will be familiar for you guys because I have this in a lot of empties. This is the Dr. Teal's uh, Pure Epsom Salt and this one is the Refresh and Renew which is currently my favorite but I kind of switch between this one and the lavender one. I use Epsom salts in all of my baths. I love Epsom salts. I'll try to insert a picture if I can of how I store it. I have like a glass canister that I keep it in with a little metal scoop and then whenever I am preparing my bath I'll just take a scoop of it and, and put it in. And I love Epsom salt. Um, if you did not know Epsom salt is a really good way to help your body detox. The um, salt will draw the toxins out from your skin. So um, I like to do a detox bath at least twice a week or like more often if I can but they're very relaxing and I really enjoy them so I highly recommend that salt. Next up I do have a few sheet masks in here. The first one is from Pure. This is the Quick Pro mask. I think it's called the Holographic mask. Um, it doesn't say on the individual wrapping but uh, it's really cool. It does have a holographic look to it. It has kind of like a silver metallic look um, but then as you kind of turn your um, you know as you turn your face and it catches the light it does give you that holographic holographic effect so it looks kind of cool um, as far as results it's supposed to be for hydrating and brightening I've only used one so far but I do have a whole box full of them so I'll have to get back to you after I use a few more I feel like with sheet mas masks it's really hard to give like a very good opinion after only one use I feel like you have to use it a few times before you really know if you're gonna like them or not but I will say that it does stay on the face really good which is important with the sheet mask um, so that is definitely one thing but I'll get back to you guys on this once I've used a few more more of them. Oh, by the way, this was sent to me by Octoly. Um, another sheet mask I have in here is from Karuna. This is the brightening sheet mask. Now, this is one of my all-time favorites. I really love the Karuna mask. They are more of a traditional sheet mask where they're kind of thin, um, so they do tend to slip around a little bit, so you do have to make sure you get it on there real good, and sometimes you have to like push the neck back in because that part starts to kind of hang down. I, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you've ever used a sheet mask, um, but the, it does give you really good results, so I actually really do like these. I found a whole bunch of them at TJ Maxx recently, so if you can find them there, I highly recommend it. I think they're really good sheet masks. 
Um, and then this mask, you guys, this mask was so freaking cool. This is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask. I think I might have, I think I actually used this in one of my Vlogmas uh, days. You might have seen me apply it. I don't remember which day. If I can find the video, I'll link it for you. Um, but I really liked it. So it goes on like a sheet mask, but as you leave it on, it starts to bubble up and it feels really cool and relaxing. I really, really enjoyed this one. I definitely want to get a bunch more of this. This was one of my favorite masks. I like that it's different and unique um, and it, it was cool. So I like it. Oh, I do have another Epsom salt. This one is actually from uh, Camille Beckman. Uh, this is another product I've talked about a lot. As I mentioned before with the other Epsom salts, I really like my Epsom salt baths and the Camille, Beck ones, I Camille Beckman ones I feel like are like a more luxurious version of the Dr. Teal's. Um, they do also have like, well, they have a bunch of different ones for different purposes, but um, each one of the Epsom salts is also infused with, is also infused with oils. So it's going to give you additional benefits besides just the Epsom. Um, and I really like them. I think that they're really nice. So I definitely recommend those as well. Next up, I do have another empty of my Shiseido cot cotton squares. This is something I talk about often as well in empties. I love the Shiseido cottons. I think these are, the, I mean, they are the only cottons I will ever use anymore. And it's one of those things that once you try it, you will never go back to another cotton, <laughs> but it takes a while to like actually purchase it because they are a little bit expensive, but I feel like they're worth it. They're $10, but you do get 170 165 sheets in here. So for $10, 165, I feel like it's not actually that much more than buying it um, from the drugstore, especially if you stock up on them during the VIB sale. Next up, I do have a cleanser that I finally finished off. I've been working on this for a while. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I feel like this is a very basic cleanser. Now, if you have very sensitive skin and you're looking for a cleanser that doesn't irritate your skin and you have a problem finding a good one, then I would recommend it, but I feel like it's it didn't really do enough for my skin. I feel like it was just very basic and um, I'm into things that are a little bit more anti-aging um, and this one just didn't give that to me. So I ended up demoting this one. So this one actually I, I used up as a body wash. I got it about halfway gone as a face cleanser and I was like, I just, I don't feel like using this anymore. So whenever that happens with a face cleanser, I move it to my shower and use it as a body wash so that I can just use it up and get it out. So that's what I did with this guy. Next up, I do have a hand therapy that I finished up. This is also from Camille Beckman. This one is my favorite scent of hers, by the way. This is the Mango Beach. It smells so good. But I love her glycerin hand therapies. These do an amazing job at hydrating your skin. My hands get so cracked and so dry because I wash them constantly. I'm just constantly washing my hands. And um, this is one of the few that I can apply and it doesn't leave a greasy feeling behind, but it actually hydrates and heals. Um, so I highly recommend these and this scent in particular. There's also a vanilla one that I really like as well. Next up, I do have a facial spray. This is from Caudalie and this is the Beauty Elixir. It's just a beauty on the fly size of this. I actually really did like this. I don't know if I'll go right out and repurchase it though. I feel like for the price, I have some other hydrating sprays that I kind of prefer. Um, I feel like this might be a little bit too overpriced for what it is because essentially a, a, it's basically grape water that's infused with essential oils and that's it. So I don't know. I didn't feel like it was really worth the price, but I definitely used it up and enjoyed it while I had it. All right, next up I have an eye cream. This is one I've talked about quite a few times actually. This is from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Anti or Age Delay Eye Concentrate. I really liked this one a lot. This is one I will definitely repurchase in the future. I'm trying to get through, as I always say, I'm trying to get through some other products that I currently have in my collection, but this is a repurchase for me for sure. Um, I feel like the um, with this one, I noticed the most results on my eyelid. I do have um, kind of droopy skin on my eyelid and I definitely noticed a difference while using this with my eyelid being uh, tighter and firmer. So if you have kind of that uh, droopy, droopy eyelids, I would definitely recommend this. It just tightens and firms everything. All right, next up, I have a lip balm and this is from Bite Beauty. This is the Agave Lip Balm. Um, so, you know, if you've ever tried their Agave Lip Mask, this is actually kind of a similar product, but it comes in like a chapstick kind of form. Okay, a couple things about this. So, I felt like this went really quickly. 
um, you definitely go through this really, really fast, and um, it wasn't hard to use this up at all, and it is kind of an expensive lip balm, so for that reason, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'd repurchase it. It does do a good job, though, I will say that. It is very, very hydrating without being too thick and too sticky or anything like that, um, unlike the, night, uh, the, uh, the one that comes in the squeezy tube. I feel like that is so thick and so sticky, I can only use it at night. This one I could definitely use throughout the day, and I like that it comes in a convenient package like this to throw in your bag, but... But I don't know. I don't know if I'll repurchase it just because, like I said, I feel like I went through it so quickly. I I think that there are drugstore options that are cheaper that last longer. So for that reason, I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but I did enjoy it. So we'll see. I might, I might, re I'm on the fence on that guy. All right, next up, I do have a, um, a face cream here from Corez. This is another one that I've had in so many empties. This happens to be just a little baby size that I got in gratis, but um, I love this. I've gone through probably three or four full sizes of this jar. Um, this is the Corez Wild Rose Brightening Sleeping Facial. But oddly enough, my very first video on YouTube was a review of this product. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, I've used it literally for years. It's been about four years that I've been using this product and I pretty much always have it in my collection. So kind of sad that I used this up, but it is a product that goes back kind of quickly. I feel like it has like, what is the shelf life on this? It has a six month shelf life. So it is something that I have to kind of use up quickly when I do have it, but I pretty much always go out and buy another one because I love it. All right, I do have also a beauty sponge that I'm tossing. This is my L'Oreal beauty sponge. Um, this one was just starting to get some tears in the bottom of it, so I decided it was time to let it go. Um, but this is my favorite beauty sponge. I absolutely love mine. Um, I think it does even better than a beauty blender, in my opinion, a blending out foundation. Um, and it's a lot cheaper. It's like half the price of a beauty blender. So I definitely recommend trying it. It seems like some people absolutely hate it and some people love it. So you're gonna either love it or hate it, but for the price, I think it's worth checking out and for me it's definitely a must-have all right I have a couple hair products I'll start with this one this is from Eva NYC this is the freshen up dry shampoo I do have a tiny bit left in here but I just didn't like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it now it does smell nice but I did not feel like it absorbed any of my hair oil at all at all so it added a nice scent to the hair but it didn't really do anything else so I'm ready to let go of that guy now I'm actually not going to talk about these right now. I do have an empty of the Monate shampoo and conditioner, but I am going to save this because I do have a review coming up next week, and I don't want to get too far into a review on these, but I did finish up both the shampoo and conditioner. All right, and then I actually do have a couple makeup items here at the bottom that I finished off after I filmed my year of empties. So these are empties for 2017, not 20, uh, or 2018. That's the year we're in, 2018, not 2017. Um, so I finally finished this, you guys. I finally finished this. How long have I been working on this? Forever. You have seen this in a lot of videos. This is from YSL. It is the Touche Eclat Brightening Pen. I was using this as an under eye corrector. I have the shade 01, by the way. Um, this took so long to go through. I was using this every single day for probably four or maybe five months, uh, but I finally used it up. I think it's really nice. I, I don't know if I'll repurchase it right away because I do have a lot of other color correcting products that I need to get through, but I've switched to the Becca under eye corrector since I finished this off, and I will say I miss this. I do miss it. I think it is a really good uh, correcting pen. And then the very last thing I have in here is from Givenchy. This is the Base Perfecto Mascara. Uh, primer and I did also talk about this in a massive amount of videos you guys are probably tired of hearing about this one as well But I did finally use this up. I love this one. I think it is really good The only thing I will say is that it is kind of expensive and if you want the same effect for a cheaper price I would try the Tarte opening act because it gives I feel like they're pretty equal as far as performance and um, but the Tarte one is quite a bit cheaper But I do really like this if you're wanting to try it. I do recommend trying it. I think it is a great mascara primer. All right, you guys, those are all the products that I have most recently finished off. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this empties video today. I will link all the products down below for your convenience in case you wanted to check anything out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.